what is up uh it's been a really long time since i've uh, sort of talked about vinyl that i have um uh, so i thought i'd just get grab a whole bunch of uh records from my shelf that i haven't spoken about yet um since my last vinyl video my last vinyl video was like four months ago so I don't buy vinyl often, but this is sort of four months of accumulated vinyl. This involves like stuff I got over Christmas, and um, I haven't really had a whole lot of money because I've started on my own label, and uh, I've been putting my own money into my own releases, and I've got releases coming up. So basically, I buy records if I've got a bit of money, or if I'm playing shows with bands, I'll pick up records from them. I'm not going to edit this at all, so there's going to be lots of me getting up and down picking up records. But the first thing I talk about. Um, is a now Nathrak because my band Monolith is supported a now Nathrak and uh, they they were really nice and uh, I didn't have a lot of money and they gave me some records to take take with me so I have the first a now Nathrak record I have is the Codex Necro this might video be this video might be in reverse because I'm using a different camera but Codex Necro um, I think it's one of their first they released. It's on super awesome looking vinyl. It's like black vinyl with like sort of brown and gold splatter. So it's really cool. That's the first record I got from them. And this is extreme, like super extreme. Extreme beyond extreme. <laughs> And then the second record they got me, and they gave me, is uh, Hell is Empty uh, and All the Devils Are Here, which is probably their most famous album they're known for, and this album is heavy, heavy as fucking balls. The colour of this thing is, it's like red vinyl with black splatter, super sick, sounds awesome, and as a band they're really, really nice guys, um, they were just super nice and welcoming and they had lots of nice things to say uh, about my band and played with them and they were nice to because I was looking at the vinyl and just jizzing myself ever so slightly over the, the colours and this and that and they were just like you know what just take 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 a couple so I was like sweet um I got a whole bunch of minutes of waste. If, if, by the way, if I've mentioned any of these records before in any of these videos, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. But, um, I got Massive Aggressive Pitch Disc. It's pretty cool. Um, probably one of their weaker albums. Um, but only because this is like the first album they did where they weren't like joking and being a party band, it was when they were like just serious thrash. Uh, I, it grew on me, but now I really like it, and I got it really cheap from Earache Records. They were having a sale on the eBay, and I bought it for like six pound with three postage. So I was like, mate, Yard Partying, Picture Disc, their best album by far, I think. And this one is I haven't seen this color anywhere else, but yeah, this is um, Waste Them All, and it it is an official pressing. It's not a, a bootleg. And I have it on a sort of pink splatter vinyl. I, every time I see this, but like I waste them all on vinyl. It's always a different colour uh, than a previous release I've seen. So that's crazy. Uh, okay, Tool. Everyone knows my favourite band is Tool. Uh, I picked up a Tool vinyl when I was in London seeing Gautier. Uh, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing, but I'm a huge Gautier fan, me and my girlfriend, uh, so you can see him live. And I checked out a couple of record stores in Camden, and I found some glorious finds. I think I might have spoken about this one before, but uh, Undertale I have been playing black vinyl. I bought that a while ago, but what I found in London was um, Tool 10,000 Days. It's a double LP um, bootleg, and it's the records are... It looks pink, but it's actually sort of red. Um, it is a bootleg, um, if you want to find the actual copy of it. Tool aren't really that great when it comes to actually releasing their albums on vinyl. Usually they'll do like a special edition picture disc or something, but original pressings cost a lot of money and I don't have a lot of money. Um, a local record store opened up near me and uh, I bought uh, 
they, they, they have lots of re-releases and stuff in there. Like the vinyl they sell are new re-releases, 180 gram vinyl and stuff. So it's quite expensive in there, but they do have good things. Oh. One thing I did pick up was Soundgarden's Bad Motorfinger, uh, just standard, standard black, but it's a classic album, and I I cannot help myself picking up. In that same record store, I picked up Black Sabbath's Volume 4 on 12 inch, and uh, it's quite cool. It's on uh, clear, clear wax. I have a bit of a thing for clear wax, I just love the look of the aesthetic value of clear vinyl. Um, my band Monolithian were releasing an album, a 12 inch, in March, and it's going to be on the clear vinyl. So affectionate for clear vinyl. Um uh, but okay. <coughs> Grindcore, we all like Grindcore, don't we? Unholy Grave. I talked about their um grind bastards or bastard grind the vinyl that I have for <coughs> I got this for Christmas for my sister. It's on like sort of piss yellow orange transparent vinyl and this thing is just blast tastic. Blast beats all over the fucking shop. It's good shit. For oh, fuck's sake. So the thing with vinyl when the the sleeves are sort of done DIY and they're a bit floppy jalopy. It's always hard to fucking stuff that bad boy in and inserts that are the same fucking size. Let's just get in there you fucking right. Yeah, so unholy grave. Everyone likes unholy grave. My friend Damo, uh, from a band Ed Wood that I'm doing a split with, with my band Monolithian, he tried to do this thing where he was going to try and collect every Unholy Grave release there was, and it's impossible just to even track them all down, because they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of releases. I have two, <laughs> and uh, they have just endless things, you know, re-releasing, like, just, like, practice demos and stuff on vinyl, like, they have connections at the wazoo and they just know what's going down. Um. Okay, another record that I picked up when I was in London, um, which I was quite lucky to find, is Sleep's Holy Mountain, double LP, uh, on clear. So it's sort of like a white, like a sort of transparent white vinyl. Kind of looks like semen. It's like spunky white. It's almost like a bit of yellow to it, and um, double LP. And I picked this up for like fifteen pounds or something, which is ridiculous for the, what this is, because you find this online for twenty thirty quid, uh, or more than that, seventy sort of sixty seventy quid. So uh, I love this album. It's my favourite album cover of all time, and it has one of the best stoner rock songs of all time, Dragon All, first song. So that's good. Another sleep vinyl that I got is. Dope Smoker. Fucking Dope Smoker Man. The greatest Doom song ever written. Fucking one hour, three minutes. And then uh, that, that covers all of side A, B, and C. And then side D is Holy Mountain and Sonic Titan. And I have it on purple. It looks black, but trust me, it's purple, purple vinyl, double LP and the packaging on this thing is just absolutely fucking amazing I mean it's just solid card, it's just fucking bitching, it's even printed on the inner sleeves like inside the sleeves it's printed and the little uh, the guys walking in the desert there, it's kind of like embossed and shiny and the records are 180 gram each, like just thick and the labels are just Sweet and oh, blah, blah, blah. this is just they put a lot of time and effort into putting out a proper re-release of this record, and uh, it affected a lot of bands. I knew I knew a band who were being signed to Southern Lord, and ended up being dropped due to the fact that they were planning on doing this re-release and could no longer afford to press their album. And that band was Let It Die, friends of mine, and um, yeah, they ended up. The deal ended up getting cancelled because they had no money to release the Let It Die 10 inch or whatever they were going to do because they had to spend all their money on that sleep vinyl. Now, one of my favourite bands of all time, The Misfits. 
I've picked up a lot of misfits um, over the last few months. I'll start from the beginning, and that is Static Age. Almost essential misfits listening. Um, you know, this is some old school, old school stuff. It's so uh, it's kind of more of a rockabilly, rockabilly album sort of. You know, it's lots of piano songs like "Theme for a Jackal" and uh, "In the Doorway." But you know, it's got fucking TV Casualty, Last Caress, Turn on the Fly, Hover Moments, who are thirty-eight are on this Attitude, Bullet, Angel, Fuck. Um, it's just some of their best songs are on this, and this was the first recordings they ever did. Uh, ended up being you know, waiting for fucking decades before it was re-released. Probably the best Misfits album of all time. Earth AD, Wall's Blood. I got this on black vinyl. This is some of the best artwork ever. This is when they really started getting into the hardcore punk sort of sound. Obviously, this is the last one they did with the Danzig, the Zigger, the Zigmeister. Yeah, this is just a fucking awesome, awesome album. It's lots of pretty dark shit on this album. It's good stuff. Okay, I got. I've started collecting Misfits bootlegs. This is my new thing. I want to try and get as many Misfits bootlegs as I can. The first two bootlegs I got are Misfits sessions, volume one and volume two. Now these are just like demos and live takes. Um, Basically, it's got this big story on the back, and basically the guy who put this these bootlegs together. Doyle gave him the horror business and and uh, bullet singles, you know, in uh, 70, 79, 80 before they were released. And he had this tape, and he played it and played it and played it, and then decided that you know he was just gonna put it together along with a bunch of live stuff. And it's cool, it's fucking cool, man. The packaging on this thing is sweet as well. It's not a sleeve; it's almost like it's like a huge collage that folds into a sleeve. And um, volume one, the cover is purple, so of course the vinyl is purple. And volume two, the cover is green, so of course the vinyl is green. And uh, the, the, my only problem with these um, these bootlegs are uh, there's a lot of repeating. Like side one and volume one is Cop Cool, She, Who Come Allen, Eagles Dare, Teenage from Mars, Children Heat, Light Let Me Dead, Regals Dare Again. Who Killed Marilyn Again by Vampyra. And then uh, Regal's Dare is on side two as well. You know, there's lot, there's lots of uh, repeats. So, uh, 20 Eyes is on side one of volume two twice. And, um, you know, Regal's Dare. It, it's just loads of different takes of a song. So, you know, you're going to end up buying the same song a million times with different takes of different speeds. Now this is something extraordinarily rare that I have here. The Misfits Live live in Kansas City, Max Max's bar in Kansas City, New York, twelfth um twenty fifth to twelfth, nineteen seventy eight. Um now you're probably thinking, yeah this is rare, but it's not as rare as you're saying Simon. But let me just get to this right. This is usually a picture disc. Okay? You can only ever find this on picture disc or on coloured 7 inch with a different cover. This cover here is usually the cover of the picture disc. Now when I bought this I thought I was buying picture disc but when I bought it from uh, All Ages Records in London but the actual what you would usually be the picture disc is just an insert looks for the cover okay, and the vinyl itself I'm going to regret doing this because it takes me ages to get it back in its little fucking sleeve. Oh, for fuck's sake. The sleeve it's got on is tight as fuck. But yeah, the vinyl itself is transparent yellow. Right? I've never seen this anywhere. I've spoken to like loads of vinyl collectors, I've looked online, I cannot find this anywhere. As far as the internet is concerned, this is the first time anyone's ever had this version in this colour. It's always been picture disc or seven inch. Never with this cover and 
this colour. Like, this just doesn't exist, apparently. But it does, because I have it, and I, I, it works, and it plays, and it is what it says it is. So, if you guys have ever seen of this before, where it's the Live at Max's, um, you know, and it's the, that colour with the picture disc cover as an insert, please let me know, because I've looked everywhere, and I can't find any information about this pressing anywhere and I want to know you know if I'm if I have myself here a rare collector's item or whether I have you know it's not that uncommon and there's just not a lot of knowledge about it you know I just want to know I want to know god this video is getting on a bit sorry I'm just rambling I haven't spoken to you guys in a while and uh doing this on a like my fucking Android tablet, it's old as shit, because when I, when I was moving house, um, the, my fucking webcam got destroyed and fucking all this shit, and I can't be bothered to buy a new one, because I'm cheap, but yeah, if you know any, any information about this Misfits bootleg, please let me know, because I need to know whether I've got a gold mine here, if I can start treating it better, I'm going to start talking about some 7 inches that i got here. Okay. Uh, I've got a 10 inch here. This is uh, coil guns and never void. 10 inch. Just a local hardcore. The vinyl looks really cool. It's like black with white splatter or white with black splatter. I'm not sure. Uh, this is really good. Check that out. I've got some 7 inches here. Uh, bear trap, sleep eradication. Um, one of the best power bites bands of all time, like modern. One sided 7 inch on uh, brown splatter. I played with them before in my hometown with my band Monolithia, and I'm going to play with them again um, in April in Bristol. And I'm very excited because I, the first 7 inch that I heard of theirs, Nailed Shut, is probably one of the best hardcore 7 inches I've ever heard, um, ever, honestly. And uh, I, I need to see them live again. <sighs> tired. Okay, here's some Screamo. Uh, we came out like tigers. Uh, seven inch. This is in um, it's like a light green. Seven inch. Uh, not too big on this. Uh, but this is one of the last copies that was uh, left. So I thought I'd pick it up just in case. Just in case, you know, it comes in handy later on down the line because they, they're blowing up a bit and I didn't want to, you know, leave it. Uh, End Rain, they're a band from um, from up north, New York, I think. And they're uh, sort of a hardcore band, really fucking heavy, just slamming. The vinyl is like black with blue splatter. Uh, they played some of their first gigs supporting my band, Raptor Studio, and now they've just blown up beyond belief. Uh, jackals and grazes. This is a split, an old split on um, on purple, purple wax. Really good, angry, power violency, hardcore, punky, stuffy. Okay, let it die, let it die. This is just the self-titled uh, seven-inch um, out via Mustache and Church of Fuck. Who are releasing the Monolithian 12 inch and Mostash are releasing the Monolithian and Let It Die split 7 inch in the next upcoming months. Now, this 7 inch is absolutely flawless, it's in purple wax again. This is just incredible, incredible, incredible. Buy it, fucking own this 7 inch, it's just amazing. Um, that's all I can say. Oh, one more actually, I've got one more here. Oi. Monolithian supported a band from America called 1994, sort of legendary, sort of uh, feel good punk hardcore and stuff. And this is called the most, most deaf. Seven inches, just two songs, um, on like a sort of splattery thingy. Really, really good, sort of jangly, uh, emotional hardcore. I would check it out. 
So that's all I've got really to show you now. Uh, when I've got another collection of records, I'll do another video about them. But um, I've been busy, man. I've just been busy. And this video is at 20 minutes now, so I'm going to leave it like that. So, um, yeah. Enjoy this. Let me know about some of the records that I bought. Please let me know about that Misfits one because I'm fucking confused by that. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Later, motherfucker.